Welcome back to part three of this FTL run. Hopefully I will get a bit further this time and not lose any more crew members. Uh, first of all, I'm going to get more power and start upgrading the shields ready. I may start upgrading the anti-ship as well, but let's carry on and see what happens. Upon complete, upon no oh god, uh, um, upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we will let you continue on your way. Reject that offer. Too bad you will regret this decision. Oh, wow, they've got a lot of anti-defenses there. Um, upgrade the shields. Uh. I haven't got any drones attacking, so I will destroy the shield bay. And then I will do this and reduce their weaponry. The day is yours! Show us honour and you'll be allow allowing us to leave with our lives. Uh, free fuel, one missile and 25 scrap. Now nah, we're just going to kill you. And that's what you get for threatening me. Um, so yeah, I got the free fuel back and 25 more scrap. The ship explodes, leaving behind us an essential collection of scrap metal. Yay! Um, I will still upgrade in the shields. Let's lower the engines, and now I have three shields, so I've got good defences now. You're over here, Mantis Com Chatter. Agree, next ship is your turn. Good hunting. They don't see you yet. Attack the ship. Attempt to remain concealed or cloak to stay hidden. Um, it's only got two shields. It's got teleporters, but I'm going to be cloaking, so... I will go stealth. Destroy the shields. Same pattern as normal, really. Okay, I don't want to lose you this time. Uh, they've teleported, so send all my people to the med bay. The little ship is on fire, which is good. And that's one dead Mantis ship. The ship explodes, leaving behind us an essential collection of scrap metal. Uh, NG, get back to there. And Steven, you go there. Um. Let's see what... Ugh, another beacon by the sun. Why do people put beacons by suns? It's not very helpful. <laughs> the abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. A quick check of yield schematics for a drone. Yay, more drones which I will never use. Um, I want to go to that store. So I'll go up here, down, down, down. You arrived just in time to see an unusual well-armed NG ship destroy a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruders on deck! A young mantis is in charge of uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NGs and offers to serve in exchange for your protections. The NGs have already traced the teleport signal and are offering a deal in exchange for your prisoner. 
This can always be bad because if you agree to give him to the NGs, he will kill one of your crew or do lots of damage, and I don't want to lose any crew at the moment. I will destroy the NGs because I will get scrapped for it. It was a trap. The Mantis sabotaged your ship before teleporting away. Oh, bugger. So the Mantis was a trap. So I lost. That wasn't a very good start. <laughs> Wow, the ship is not wanting to lose its shields. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, he's got healing uh, nanites. His crew is still healing, even though he's in a different part of the ship. Well, no matter. Your ship still gets destroyed. The ship explodes, leaving behind an essential collection of scrap metal. Yay! I've already been there to help you, but... Uh... Right, we need to head back now and go to that shop and hopefully buy something. You arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's the stress calls on Mantis, attacked by pirates or Mantis most likely. There may be someone left alive. Um, improved sensors, run another scan. Long range scanners, run another scan. Uh, I will scan. The scan reveals the station's reactor is overloaded. Not only that, but an NG NG and a functioning drone schematics are still on board. There's not time for both. Um, I don't need another crew member. Sorry, NG, you're gonna have to die. The NG don't feel things the same way do, as other species do. They want the tech to be saved. Your away team heads straight for the goods and returns with time to spare. You put some distance on the station before it blows up. I can sell that to the shop. And hopefully the shop will have some weaponry. Energy ship hails. Engine upgrades necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. And it does have weaponry. So... So than the Mark 1, but breaches and does more damage to systems. Can target your own ship. I don't really want to do that. Uh, let's see. Standard but powerful missiles. Uh, requires 3 power damage per shot. 3. Uh, fires 1 missile. Hmm. I don't know. I don't need a defense. I don't need a defense. Uh, the breach only requires two, and currently I'm using small bombs. I need the breach. Uh, I'm gonna buy all the missiles. Free fuel. Uh, go to my ship. Improve weaponry. Sell the small bomb, equip the breach. Takes a lot longer to charge, but since I have the cloak, it's not too bad. Um, let's go to the distress signal. The distress signal is coming from a small station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defenses seem to have gone haywire and the required repair crew, so just send the cloak in. Use your shield cloaking to prevent the defense systems from getting a lock. Once closer, you're able to safely disable it. Yay! Um, I'm gonna go up here, get as much resources before I make the next jump on the FTL. Debris from a forgotten battle still orbits the gas giant. I get 40 resources. Awesome. You arrive at a distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings particularly crushed between two large rocks. Uh, I will use the beam weapon to carefully cut them loose. Use the beam to make a few precision cuts in the asteroids. The ship gives a quick burst of thrust and the rocks crumble away. They thank you and offer you some resources. Well, that's good. Debris from a battle is scattered around the system. A few species 
pieces bounces against your ship, you passively scan them and discover there's a functioning weapon amongst them. Uh, and weapons can disable systems with, without causing hull damage. So these can get through shields, but it's useful at the start, but not near the end game. Uh, I'll keep it in case I find something to sell. Because I will not be able to beat the cruiser with dual lasers and mini beam. Uh, a ship refueling station stationed at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. Um, I will get six fuel. I don't want to be stranded in the Mantis homeworld or a slug controlled nebula. Uh, I don't fancy the Mantis worlds because they just use all teleporters. The nebula is home to the telepathic slugs. They sell their own slimes for crates of scrap, but they much prefer to take it. Um, I don't want to go to nebula storms, so I will avoid that. Uh, I think the best route is going to be down here. Or I could really do with a store with a better weapon. I don't want to upgrade the droids either. The distress beacon is coming from a civilian ship. It appears to be chased by a pirate. Age, uh, we will aid them. You power up your weapons to engage the pilot. Pirates. Um, right, let's destroy the shields. It's always interesting these ones that can damage systems of your own ship. Right, uh, I have a nasty rock crew on my ship. Shields. Uh, close all the doors again. Wait for the air to come back into the ship. <laughs> Sec once he fires his missiles. <laughs> Their weaponry is completely down and they are sitting ducks. And this was quite an easy fight. This whole shit is burning up and they're not doing anything to fix it. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to use a breach. This is why I need to get a better weapon. Uh, the pirate ship breaks apart. You hastily contact the civilian ship. The civilian ship wisely made a fast retreat. That bugger. Ooh, but there is a shop. What I've always wanted. You constantly approach a slug colony and a huge asteroid. It's a brave person who sets foot on a slug planet. It can take weeks to get the mucus out of your clothes. But their business is but businesses need to be done. Ooh, a pipe beam. Now that I want. And heavy lasers. Uh it's heavily layer fires two shots in quick succession. Uh, three power, two power. Dual lasers too. Um, yeah, I need to upgrade badly. 
He's gonna go. Pike weapon. Uh, okay, and then upgrade. I need to upgrade my ship. Um, so I can actually charge these weapons. No, that's all I can afford, so... Can I sell anything? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the heavy ion. Uh, I don't want to get rid of the hull repair. This can go, because I'm never gonna use it. Um, ship! This is the point of the game where you've got to be very careful where you put your resources. Um, ship. Um, da -da -da -da. um Let's see, I'm going to need two more power. Yeah, let's jump to the next section. Uh, I've got the weaponry now I need to get further in the game. You explore around the beacon and are shocked when the rocks the size of a small moon suddenly loom ahead of you. Your scans reveal solid looking rocks is just a husk, almost entirely mined out of useful material. Oh, there's another shop. <laughs> Not what I'm after. Uh, Unvisited, possible ship detected. The rebel fleet was prepared for the nebula in the sector, so it won't be as effective as a hiding spot. I need to destroy things and get more resources. The slugs here are using a tactic you hoped you've never seen. They've sabotaged your oxygen production system and they've charged weapons. Great. Um, I need to destroy those shields as quickly as possible. Because my crew will die. Five oxygen left. <laughs> Cloak. Forty one oxygen. Come on, crew, we need to destroy them as quickly as possible. <laughs> no, bad getting your shields back. I'm not wasting another missile. Oh god, oxygen's getting low. The slug ship breaks apart and your systems return to normal. Thank the lord. <laughs> I just need one more. Well, I need one more and then I'll take stuff out of the ship. Uh, I'm going to wait here for my oxygen to come back. So what do I need to do here? Oh, to be honest, it's probably safe just to jump to the next sector now. A uh, number of small stations for travellers, only slug ships are docked, so you decide it's better to just avoid. Okay. Um, oh, let's carry on. Uh, bing. A sub transport ship is stationed near the beacon with a military escort ship. They message, we've been waiting for a customer for ages. Care to see our wages? Ask to see their goods. Mm. Uh, ooh. I think last time I did this, they killed one of my crew members, so I'm going to decline. Oh well, we shall wait here then. You culturally put distance between you and the ship. For good cause, really. I'm taking my time in this sector because it's a nebula. The Mantis attack ship here looks to have been hunting slugs on their home turf. A rare task of honour for the mightiest Mantis crew. Weapons up. Okay, cloak. Need to destroy these shields as quickly as possible. Oh, 
Okay, the, the mantis ran away very quickly then. Uh, oh, I don't want to take... You come back here and you go to self systems. Oh, bugger. Very close. Uh, heal. Uh, the ship explodes leaving behind a substantial supply of scrap. Yay. Um, I need to heal you. You can go there and then let's jump over here. Either this part of slug space is deserted or it's too dense for even the slugs to detect your presence. Alright, I need to be quick now because they're catching up the rebels. Uh, slug transport, blah 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 blah. Oh, fire beam, lovely, but I can't afford that as well. Um, yeah, I need to get out of this sector as quickly as possible. A slug ship, a rogue you suspect, approaches, but when he sees you're a federation, he thinks better of a sneak attack and fires at everything he has. Great. I need to give time for my breach to charge up before I fire the heavy lasers. I keep doing that. And I missed. Excellent. And I missed again. Thankfully, I have enough ships to keep me going. But I am running out of missiles. I desperately need that pike weapon to come online. Powering up there, FTL. But they are, haven't got any crew members in the cockpit yet. Cause a breach there, so they won't be able to jump now. With the crew dead, you are able to take the fuel out of the storage. Oh, I've never killed the crew before. Excellent. Uh, I now have enough for the pike, which is excellent. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, with functioning sensors, it's impossible to tell what's inside. I'm going to use the cloak to access the station. The station was either abandoned or strip cleaned. It seems to have lain unused for quite some time. Well, that's a good thing I didn't get into a fight then. You intercept comm chatter from an incoming Manta ship. Look, this ship appears not to be owned by squishy ones. Maybe they won't smell so bad when we cut them open. They move in and on your position. Uh, turn off the med bay. Put cloaking on. Okay, now and I can do this with the pike. Uh, 
that's a nice easy um the pike is really good for just destroying lots of parts on ships uh send you there to heal up oh well i haven't got any shields on at the moment um Ship explodes leaving behind a substantial of uh, scrap. Fortunately, I'm. I've got fires on the ship again. Come on, fire go away. And oxygen come back. Heal my crew. power in the ship and jump to the exit you arrive at the long range beacon when the FTL dries charge you jump to the next section you arrive in the system to see a pirate ship pursuing a civilian aid the civilian ship you power your weapons to engage the pirates uh, cloak breach the shields please Trying to get as many rooms as you can. I want to get oxygen, weapons, and shields. Cool, and I got the shields down, which is excellent. So I don't need to use any more missiles now. That was a very easy kill, actually. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I got my missiles back, which is excellent, and I got more missiles from the people I just rescued. Okay, let's jump to the next sector. The NG home world of the Zoltan controlled sector. Um, I will go to the NG home world. Generally the safest sector in the whole game. You arrive in the NG space, the fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic lifeforms, but they're usually willing to help. 